Dear friends in Christ, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. So today we are called upon to be good stewards, good servants. Our calling is to be servants of the world and servants of God. In the gospel reading of today, we are told of that good and wise servant or steward and then that of the unfaithful and foolish steward or servants. We ask ourselves, where do we belong to? Jesus gives a description of who a good servant is and who a bad servant is. The good and the faithful steward and the wise steward is the one whom the master finds in doing good works when he comes, in doing what has been entrusted to him or her when he comes. That servant is the one who is a man or a woman of responsibility. That steward is the man or the woman who does the will of God and obeys the commandments. It says that if the master comes, if the father comes to find us doing his wishes, he will reward us. And the reward is not just any other reward, but a reward of promotion. The Lord will promote us because when he finds us doing what he has asked us to do, he will elevate us and give us a more responsible work, a task that is higher than what he has given unto us, a place that is higher than what he has given unto us. That is the promotion the Lord is telling us he will give to us when he finds us doing what he has entrusted unto us. And we ask ourselves, what has God given to us to do so that when he finds us, he will be happy with us and reward us. It is in the Gospels. He says, give water to the thirsty, feed the hungry, visit the imprisoned, visit the sick, give shelter to those who do not have a place. For so long as you do to the least of my brothers, you do unto me. So that is the work that God wants us to be responsible for. We should be doing this until he comes. Otherwise, we will be like the unfaithful servant or steward who said to himself or may say to himself, the master is delaying in coming. I have done good things enough and waiting for the master to come. He is not coming. Therefore, what will he do? He will start beating the main servants and the, still and the servants in the house he will start partying himself. He will start disobeying all the orders. He says, such an unfaithful servant, when the Lord comes, his is not a reward, but a punishment. And the punishment is that he will take away what he has given unto him. The Lord will take away what he has given unto him or her and will also cut him off, will suspend him or will expel him are we those people, the unfaithful steward, my dear people of God? He says that many have been given to us. Many more graces, blessings have been given to us. And many more is demanded from us as Christians. So, so long as the Lord blesses us, the more the Lord requires from us. Are we ready to render this account unto the Lord when he comes? Are we ready to be that faithful steward that when the Lord comes, you find us doing what he has entrusted unto us? St. Paul tells us in the first reading that he has been called to be a minister of the gospel. We are also called to be ministers of the gospel. Our lives must be that gospel we preach to others that men may see Christ in us. For St. Paul says, Christ in you is the hope of glory. May the Lord bless us and continue to give us the strength to be able to stand as good st stewards, servants called to perform a specific task, to give glory to God. 
May his name be praised now and forever. Amen. Amen.